What's up, Digidestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, and today we're going to be going over some top decks in Japanese format. I got three more decks for you this week, so this is Japanese Tuesday, so let's take some looks at some amazing cards. So first deck we're going to talk about is none other than Magna X Antibody. Magnamon is really cool. So he's a new Digimon debuting in BT09, allowing you so when your opponent Digimon attacks, if this Digimon has X antibody or an armor form, which we do, we're going to be in that range. In its traits, this is you may change the attack target to this card, but also all turns when this Digimon would be deleted, you may place the top card of this Digimon at the top of your security stack to prevent the deletion. So he pretty much goes to the top of the security stack, negating the battle or any options that are trying to remove so what you're going to try to do is just shut off your opponent's resources of otk and we're right now in an otk format where everybody's using pierce and grandis quagamon is the deck to beat and we do also have security control now trying to pick back up so we use the waking of the golden digizoid to basically prevent the dp reductions and this allows us to go into x antibody basically for free so that's what we want to do with it Mega Death is to pretty much bounce that big Grandis back into hand for a really no, no extreme cost to us. Flame Rockets in here for that security checks, that extra out. We have a grand total of 12 targets for Magna X Antibody with the Golden Digizoid to go into. But also he has his own target he can Digivolve on top of himself for four, which is not bad. We also play the four Hammer Sparks just to be that guy. You know, Chimera Mon's in here to grab the Rapid and the Flame or the Magna all in one. Rydra, sorry, not Rapid, Rydramon, Flame Dramon, and Magna. So they're all going to combine into the Chimera, allowing you to restand, swing again, just to allow for OTK potentials in yourself. On lower end, while playing a more protective defensive deck, you know, Davis and Ken are in here for if you have a blue Digimon in play, gain one memory. If you have a green Digimon in play, gain one memory very easy to to go off because all you have to do is come in from raising and have a rydramon on board this card really does help out because if you have you get to suspend one of their four or lower so you get to remove some of their threats playing dramon's in here for the extra power so that we can swing in comfortably without worrying about losses and then magna magna mon is basically unsuspend this Digimon for each card with armor in its stage in the trash. This Digimon gains 2000 BP until the end of your opponent's next turn. So he can get really big beefy blocking status. And this Digimon gains the 2000 BP. So you can go into him and then Digivolve right on top of into X Antibody. So he might even be beefier. So yeah, that can really make or break an OTK turn. They might not be able to swing in for game and you can just win game from there. Preventing them from the OTK strat is huge in this format. We have Vmons in here, of course, all of the Vmons we can get our hands on. We have Vmon here that searches for a tricolor. We have a Vmon that searches the top three, add one free type among them. So that's usually all our cards except for our Chimera is not a target because he is not a free type. He's a data. So outside of that, everybody else is free. So that's pretty good. And then we play Davis to set us to three and he's a great card engine. He can also grab Rai and another blue card. So it would be really good to see that. So next deck we're gonna talk about is X Antibody or Alpha Mon or Yukin Mode. This deck is very interesting. It's an OTK strap. Of course, why not, right? So here is your new boss Digimon in X Antibody. So it's Digivolve for three on top of an Alpha Mon or or Yukimon. So or or you Mon in its Digi Evolution cards. When Digivolving, delete all your opponents with the highest play cost. So you get the board wipe, usually their biggest threat. And then end of turn, once per turn, you may return up to seven non Digi eggs with X Antibodies and its traits from this Digi Evolution card to the bottom of its owner's deck. In any order, gain one memory for each return. So basically what you're going to do is build up a nice fancy stack and using cards like Kota, the add them to your hand, adding you 
UG, UJ, Jai, U, Jai, U, Jai, U, Jai. I'm going to mispronounce this name. I don't understand. When did you an X antibody and some types moves from the breeding area to battling area, gain one memory and draw a card, constantly adding more memory effects. And when your black Digimon with X antibodies in his traits attack, you may suspend this tamer to add one X antibody and traits from your hand under that Digimon at the bottom of that card. So what's going to happen is we're going to have a huge UG, UGI under on battlefield. We're going to have Oriukin with all his sources that he needs for the first swing. We're going to keep at least a couple Oriuka or Yumans in our hand. So that when we swing with the or you can mode, we swing once. If we can pass, get our turn to pass by playing even just a tamer, we'll trigger his effect because it's end of turn after we swung twice with the or you can. So or you so that when he now goes and swings end of turn procedure activates, we'll trash all sources. We'll keep one in hand. We'll have one active, you know, huge, huge eye, huge eye. Um, on field, and then you're going to be pretty much throwing another, or you can underneath it. So again, restand, boom, you're going to just clear out game win because that's all it takes is just that re beautiful restand. And that's all you need to do. And just make sure that he gets a couple restands. And you're just going to do that. You're going to have extra security techs with Doro Greymons underneath it. Dexo is just to help Digivolve on top of your Doro Guras and your your gray mons just for free so you can get to the seven requirements super easily and then alpha mons here just to be this alpha mons a little bit better in this style of deck because if we lose a few resources in in battles or security we can at least tr put one underneath and then you're just going to be going from there you're allowing yourself to have a rebuilt stack and just swing in trashing all your resources and just going to town on your opponent there's nothing crazier than that but just keep that in mind and we then we also have cool boy just so that gaining a memory and draw and just constant gaining memories gaining advantage and just winning we could even win with a grumble mon on top of our you know coat kota or yuja uj jai uj all in the same thing we have both adoro mon and we have Rydamon, who's just going to be looking for our top three, getting our combo pieces going, and just winning just how we win. So just keep that in mind. This deck is an OTK strat in a nutshell. So if you're not OTKing or blocking straight out right or playing security, what are you really doing this format? So keep that in mind. It's a very OTK heavy format. Next, let's talk about the X antibody War Greymon stuff. So first off, we have Blitz War Greymon just to pop out blockers, but also we can get a couple security checks underneath him, stuff like that. Just make it harder for our opponent. We're using a dedicated plan for that security matchup and X antibody so that they can't strip away our sources and makes it harder for our Digimon to stay get removed. So what's really nice about X antibody is when a card is removed from your opponent's security stack, gain one memory. So the more security checks we do, we gain memory. It's that once per turn. And then... If this Digimon has Wargram on our X antibody in its Digi Evolution sources, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon's DP. So if we can get him super big, which is super easy because even just having this here, this makes him a 15 by himself. And boom, you're just going to clear out house there. So just keep this in mind. The deck plays in a way that's very interesting. <clears throat> then we also have Altarius mode here this new promo at least one of we can get if we can get him underneath it puts a protection under our x antibody or or, or graymon or even just our bigger digimon so that now they're not going to be easily removed and sadly the only thing it doesn't prevent is dp minusing but i don't understand why they haven't given this to red in the first place we also have x antibody here just to gain more power for security check early rush status so, I mean, X antibody metal Greymon with even just a Greymon with this Greymon here with plus 2000 DP and then having this one to protect it on a free Digi Evolution 
then you go into metal Greymon here and then go into X antibody you have an extra security check with a bunch of other dp so i mean he's gonna survive his security checks check two and pretty much win game here i mean you're just constantly checking out a lot of your opponent's security you're gonna have taya active at all times because x antibodies are just free evolution stack climb ups that are just really good stepping ladders because they're so free after you get one of their prior forms out because did you all for zero boom boom go right into this for free so it, it, you can build a stack quickly for the tie and otk pretty quickly so just keep this in mind how you want to play this deck is up to you and otk styles with added boost and power we're just really going for just clearing house x antibody is just here to just constantly destroy your opponent's digimon and that's all we're here for and plus he can get beefy because even just with the metal Greymon underneath it he's an 18 he's popping any or you can modes anything that's 16 plus bye bye everything goes bye bye so just keep that in mind like when you're deck theorizing in bt9 that we're gonna be heavy otking and we need to be able to remove threats pretty quickly so keep this all in all what your thought processes are let me know down in the comments do you like digi japanese meta tuesday let me know and i'll catch you in the next video peace